Okay, everyone, it's Sue. Um, I've just been playing around this morning um, with some greeting cards that I'd recently purchased, and then I thought I should just turn the camera on and show you what I'm doing. So um, you can sh can see what you can do with greeting cards and using them in as ephemera in your journals or part of a signature. So I picked up these beautiful um, cards from Kayser Craft and they've got, they do have messages on the front, but I'm going to put something to cover that up. But the images are just beautiful. Obviously they didn't have a huge selection and I loved this butterfly. So they had a few of those. So I grabbed them. Um, so just all that vintage sort of look. Um, I think I've got a couple more here somewhere. Yeah. So I have just um, done a, played around and done a couple of things and then I went, oh well, I'm going to turn the, the camera on and just show you guys what I'm up to. Okay, so these, normally Kayser Crafts sell them for, I think they're five for $10, which is pretty good really, because they're really nice quality textured cardstock. Um, and then they had 30% off, so I grabbed grabbed what I could in this beautiful range here. Um, so yeah, I thought I'll just show you what I've done. So I have, um, let me just start from scratch and then I'll show you. Um, I've, I have actually started prepping some and then at least, cause I'm, what I'm doing is I'm all over the place, sorry. I'm actually tea dyeing at my desk here cause these are stark white in the middle. So you can see the difference there. So I didn't want stark white. Um, so all I've done so far is just, I've just roughed up the edges because I was hoping that some of the tea would soak into the fibers of the, the card and it didn't so much. So I'm probably going to have to ink around them anyway, but that's okay. So I'm just using this little tool. You, as I've said in previous videos, you can use your, um, scissors as well to do this or you can just leave them um, with a straight edge. I'm just really loving this um, textured edge at the moment so I'm just going to keep running with it and what we're going to do is we're going to cover the back of this as well. So I just thought oh we can have it as um, make them as maybe floating pieces of ephemera in your journal. Um, they could even be sewn in as a page in your journal. Um, so there's lots of different options that you can do. So just, um, I've just got an old towel here, hand towel, and I've just made a, a tea mix here with some tea bags. And I've just got a cloth in there. So all I'm going to do is I'm just grabbing the cloth and I'm just rubbing the tea bags, the, so the cloth, the tea solution over the, the card. So the towel I'm using to hope, hopefully soak up um, the excess tea that comes off so that it doesn't go over to the front too much. The first one that I did, I just did on some paper and it sort of soaked over to the front, which is okay. So we can make it look like that. So that's all I've done. Um, so if you're doing it that way, obviously you're gonna get brown fingers, but that doesn't worry me. And then I'm just popping this to the side um, I did a few at once and I've got a nice sunny position just behind me here. I'm just going to stick that on the floor behind me and that'll be dry in no time. So once you've done that, um, obviously you end up with something like this. So these are a few that I've done. It's just tea dyed and roughed up the edges. So And then I went and I've started roughing up the edges on all of them. Um, so I'm just doing like a bulk lot just I've had these sitting around for a little while and I just thought I need to do something with them okay. and then this is um, another one that I had started and that's when I thought oh I may as well turn on the camera and just show you what I'm up to uh, so I want to cover the back because we have the um, the branding on the back and we don't particularly want to see that so I'm just using um, I've got bits and pieces everywhere here. I'm using um, some digitals from um, oh, Nostalgia Graphic Land. So I will put the link down below. Um, so I'm using these printables, beautiful printables. Um, and I thought that they might go really well with these cards. So uh, I've got bits and pieces everywhere. 
So these are actual journal pages and I've just printed them as journal pages at the moment because I thought they will cover the back, the back of um, these greeting cards. It's just stunning. So I just thought they went really nicely um, with these cards. So that's what I'm going to be using or attempt to use. Um, and then these are from the same kit. So some little tags. This is a different, I'm not using that one, sorry. I'll put that to the side. Um, some beautiful postcards and some rounds. And these are some ATC cards as well. So I'm hoping to utilize those in this. And as you can see, I have started, um, this was one of the sheets, it came on this side. There's a bit of a butterfly that I've cut off, but that's okay. And I didn't take it all the way down um, because I'm gonna cover it and I'm going to make a pocket on the back. So this is just another piece of digital so I'm just using that so I just wanted to bring in the color of the birds there so I think I'm going to sew around all of these as well which is normal for me isn't it <laughs> so I'm going to just get a punch and put a divot in there so I'm just playing playing today I did have plans um, certain plans organized for today and they've all just um, gone out the window so I thought I'd get in and have a bit of a play and and at a bonus I just turn the camera on and just see what I come up with so there's so many beautiful um, greeting cards that you can utilize in your journals um, so this is a good way way to do it so I'm just going to add this pocket on the back and another thing as well um, I'm still into I'm loving sending happy mail at the moment so these would be a beautiful item that you could send as happy mail as well I'm just going to stick that down and as I said I will sew around all of this so I just want to have a look and see what I'm going to do first So we're going to put something uh, over that. And I do actually have some different bits and pieces here that I thought I could probably put, you know, like a label or, um, you know, a butterfly even. Um, so I've got some bits and pieces there that we can play with as well. And I'm just wondering what to do in here. So you could make it like a little, um, I've got all my scraps here to the side as well. I'm drowning in scraps, so I'm trying to use up some bits and pieces. This is all just coffee dyed scraps. I've got pattern scraps here as well. Um, so I'm just thinking, I've got these long strips. I'm just wondering whether to even just make it like, a, um, make these like pockets and put some little bits and pieces in there. And then we could send it as a um, little ephemera folder even. Or have it as an ephemera folder in your journal. How wide does this measure? So these are five inches, so they would per fit perfectly inside a pocket in your journal, so you could utilize it anyway. So, all right, let's have a think about this. Um, I think I'm liking that idea of maybe putting pockets either side put like a pocket there, actually put that deeper one there and then this narrower one up here and then you've got pockets to put bits and pieces in. Okay, I think I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to mark with a pencil where I want to cut for these pockets. So I'm going to, I'm not going to fold it in the middle, if that makes sense. I'm going to cut four individual pockets and I'm just going to cut that. 
I'll put on that pencil mark. So it's a funny day today. It's been, um, it was raining this morning and it was really chilly and um, foggy. And then now the sun is just beaming out there and it's quite warm. I've got the fan going and the door open. So you'll probably hear all the birds chirping and singing. Um, we get a lot of lorikeets uh, and pigeons around here. So it's really lovely listening to all that. I don't even know whether this strip is straight and I'm not really um, the same width all for the whole length of it, but I'm not even worrying about it too much. Yeah, so it's a funny day. Um, James and I have decided that we both need to um, start being a bit healthier and trying to maybe lose a little bit of weight um, and just a little bit more physical exercise. So we went for our first walk this morning, just about killed both of us because Jim has a, um, a bad back and a bad knee and um, I have a real dicky hip. So <laughs> we went, um, we walked for a huge 15 minutes but we haven't done any physical exercise in such a long time. So I think we did really well for our first walk. Um, we're gonna pat ourselves on the back for it anyway. It's, if we do that for a week and then gradually build it up, we'll be walking further in no time. I'm just going to sew these pockets. Um, so I'll just do that and I shall be back. So I've sewn around all of those and while I was at it, I decided that I would sew around the card as well. So you can see how that's just added another dimension to it. Now, if you wanted to, you could just even leave it like that and then you've got a pocket at the back to put bits and pieces in um, and then space for journaling. So that's quite nice anyway. And then we can put like a label or something over there. Um, so these are some Tracy Fox labels, they're the definition labels. Um, let me just see what we've got. I don't know whether it really, I mean green it go. So you could even have nature, botanize. So that's quite nice, I might use that one. So normally I've always got these cut out, but um, obviously I was sorting and decided to put them where they belonged before I cut them out. So I'll do that now. I normally like to do this sort of thing um, if I have a night off and decide I'm gonna watch some TV. I like to have this sort of thing ready to do because I can't just sit there and watch TV, otherwise I'll just go to sleep. really roughly giving that a bit of an ink up and that covers that nicely a bit of cheesecloth I think so I'm just going to roughly cut that just add that over there so yeah who would know that this was a birthday card once we've got this all done. Just gonna add that to that. Just press that down well so it goes through the, the cheesecloth there. <clears throat> The wind is really starting to pick up out there. 
I've got that on there crooked now. I really love that. I think that's lovely. And I'll just pull that cheesecloth away a bit once it has dried. Uh, and then that's the back. We'll probably decorate something on the back there as well. What have I got? Just thinking maybe some of these round images that I showed you at the beginning, maybe. Or are they going to be too big? So these are the smaller ones. These are the smaller ones. They're the bigger ones. Thinking I like that. I don't think I have a punch that size. I think uh, this this one I think is just a little bit too small. But we could probably use it. We lose some of the. It just saves me trying to cut it out. So that's quite nice. I think we'll just use that. I'm just gonna ink around it. So as I said, Jim and I decided we're going to try and um, get healthy. Not even, I mean, we probably could do with losing, I don't know, 15 kilograms, I reckon. Um, but even if I just lose five, I think I'll feel so much better. I've just, um, James has put on quite a bit of weight in the last 12 months because he's on some pain medication which he just can't seem to budge the weight um, and I don't really have an excuse except that I love my food too much <laughs> so but I tell you what um, it catches up with you don't you it doesn't it if you don't keep an eye on it so it's started to get quite warm here and I've gone to put some clothes on and they don't fit me so I need to do something about it because I'm not going to go out and buy a heap of new clothes. I just need to stop indulging so much. So that's what we're doing. So we're quite proud of ourselves. Even though it was only a tiny little walk, it's a start, particularly when we haven't done any real physical exercise for, you know, a good year or so. Um, and it was all uphill that we walked. So we did pretty well, I think. So once again, I'm going to pull the excess of that cheesecloth off once it's dried because I just tried then and it's um, not glued down um, properly and it was just pulling out from underneath that. Uh, so we can, um, I might even put another label here. Um, maybe we could do that. What have we got in here? So these can be decorated any way you like. Actually, no, I think love these um, labels from Kelly's Crafts. I'm just thinking maybe if we even just to add that, something like that. Let's just do it. I'm just going to add that there. I think it needs a lot, a lot of decorating. I'm closing in on myself here. I've got stuff everywhere. Okay, um, I'm going to trim off these pockets that I cut and sewed. So as you know, I like all my threads hanging. So I'm going to keep them hanging. I think we had this one up the top. So we'll do that up the top and then this one down here somehow. So I've sewn these first because I wanted them to look sewn, but I didn't want to sew on them and sew through to the other side. So that's why I've sewn them first. And I'm just going to glue um, three sides. So this is this was the top here. And I'm just going to sew the two sides and the bottom.
Let's put that in place. You'll do that with all four pockets. So you can see this one here is a little bit bigger. Um, so obviously this strip was a bit crooked, but I am not worried about that. Once you start getting little bits and pieces in there, you're not even going to notice that. So I'm going to leave this so we can put some bigger tags and that in there, and then probably just bring this. This one's a bit crooked too, but as I said, I'm not, not overly concerned about it. So I need to get one down and then I'll line the other side up with it as well. So how have you all been keeping? Um, hope you've been able to get a bit of creative time in. I'm still um, still getting over a, a, I guess it's like a head cold. So um, it just freshens, keeps freshening up. And I've got this cough as soon as I lay down at night. I just cough and cough and cough and cough. So, um, which is a bit annoying. But I am getting better, so that's good. We, what else have we been up to? Just work and um, busy working on the website and my my little business. And um, yeah, I'd just like to thank everybody that su has supported me so far. It's you're all amazing um, and enabling me to do what I am passionate about. So um, I work only work two days out of the home now. Uh, I'm loving that. I'm loving, I'm doing the support work and I'm absolutely loving it. I didn't think, well, I ne never ever thought that I would head in the direction that I have, but um, it, it allows me to do um, more time, concentrate more time on my business. So, um, yeah, I've got all of you to thank for that. So I'm just thinking, do I add some uh, seam binding here to close that up? I think I might actually. So there you've got, um, what have I got to put in there? So we've got some little pockets just to put bits and pieces in. I won't put these in, but um, just to give you an idea, these are just some tags that I found what I was trying to tidy up, see this is what happens, I, I'm supposed to be tidying up my room and then I get distracted. But, and then smaller items can go in the top here. Obviously, probably not those tags, but just to give you an idea, so there's four pockets there. So they can be filled with all different bits of um, handmade ephemera. And I think, I think I will put, I'm just trying to see where the pockets are. It's not gonna affect it, I think I'll put some. Um, some seam binding or sari silk there. So let just just let me go and have a look and I'll see what I can find. So I've got this uh, seam binding. I know this rose here is like a deep red, but I love the um, the contrast here and then it goes beautifully with the back. So I'm going to um, put this on as a closure. So I'm just gonna cut this so I've got a straight edge. And what I'm thinking it's about in the center. So I'm going to glue that seam binding down. About there. You can measure it if you want to, to find out the exact center, but I'm just going to eyeball it and I'm just going to fold it back on itself and press into that glue and then back on itself again. And just press down and hopefully I should have a little bit of glue there that comes through to hold it in place. 
and on just how much do I add for a nice bow? Um, I've got eight inches. So I'm gonna do that there and then I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I'm just gonna line this up. Approximately, just put that in there, fold it back on itself. And back again. And then I'm going to go to the sewing machine and just put a zigzag stitch there to hold that in place. So, oops, and I need to cut. That's right, I need to bring this back again. And then I just need to trim that next piece off. And I'm just gonna quickly sew that. And if I had a thought about it beforehand, um, I could have glued that on and then it would have all just been attached as I sewed around the outside of the card. But as I said, I don't really have any plans in place. All I just wanted to do was decorate um, and utilize these cards that I found when I was supposed to be cleaning up my work area. So I'm just going to trim all the threads off there. And so that's, that actually closes up, ties up into a nice little um, ephemera folder you can stick in a journal or send us happy mail. I think that's really cute. And so what's that? 30% off $2.60. So for $1.40, um, for the card, you could just send that. I mean, it's a pretty cheap gift, isn't it? You can make tags and what have you to go in there. As I said, I, I don't have, I won't make them today, but you can see, you know, put your tags in there. You've got that beautiful image at the front. We've covered up the happy birthday or birthday wishes, whatever it said. Um, got a bit of excess glue there. I'll get that off later. There we go. And then we've just added um, a tie to tie it closed. Um, I just have noticed that I've weakened that there a little bit. So if you're doing that sort of thing, maybe think about if you want to um, have a closure and catch it in as you're sewing around the outside. But that's, that's not going to pull out, that's fine. And then we have our pockets in here. And I've just noticed that this is lifting a bit and that's because um, it was wonky when I, from dying, um, and I just obviously haven't adhered that properly. And then you've got your little pockets on the inside. I think that's really cute. So that started out as, let's see if I've got one of those cards. So that started out as that card. So you can see the difference there. Um, this is the inside as opposed to that. And then that's the back. So I think I'm really happy with that. Okay, so I'm going to do um, at least one more. This might be a longer video. Um, I'm gonna do one more at least. Let me see what we've got. Um, so I might grab that one that I dyed just before. Okay. It's all dry now. So it didn't take long to dry. There you have it. It's really nice. So I'm just going to ink around um, because the tea didn't go into all those uh, roughed up fibers that I wanted to and I do want to just ink it a little bit. So this might be, I'm using walnut stain here. It's a bit dark, but that's okay. We've got black here in the, the butterflies or the moths. So it'll all blend in. I 
core foam applicators um, been used so much it's starting to really fall apart. And I might just add a bit of ink down down the center there. All right. And I want to cover the back. So maybe because I've got the butterflies there, I'm going to grab these papers and just going to have a bit of a rummage through and see what we've got here. Keep it. Plain? No. This is beautiful. But if I put a pocket, I'm going to cover that up. Let's just do that one. So I'm just going to work out because I can see the um, the back of the card. I'm just trying to sort of centre that butterfly a bit. And I'm just going to put a pencil mark and just trim this down. I'm just going to trim that. marks are. Yeah. Okay. I might trim a little bit of that top off because otherwise I'm going to lose uh, quite a bit of the butterfly when I put it, but then I mean it's still going to look like it's coming out of the pocket so I want to keep that postcard saying there though so I'm just going to um, ink around this and I've accidentally gone too far into there but it doesn't matter I'm gonna not stress about it too much just going to keep using it. I don't need to do the bottom edge because it's going to be um, hidden with a pocket. And I'm just, I don't know whether I've cut this, let me have a look. Too wide, maybe. Oh no, it's okay. So I'm just going to glue that down. So I'm going to use um, just a glue stick and I'll probably have to lift some of the, the um, edges and re-glue, um, but I am sewing, so it should all stay stuck down. really going to matter. Just a real smidgen. So I'm just trimming that off and so these corners that I haven't quite got to I'm just going to put a little bit more of the um, put a bit of the uh, glitter glue so that it sticks down. that and 
and I want to do a, I'm gonna, I like the idea of the pocket at the back. Um, so what color am I going to use? I've got these are from um, Shop Alteria Motives on Etsy. I will pop Carrie's um, store down below as well. So you can go and check her out. No, I don't want those on there. What if I... What if I just have some pink? completely different to the front but that doesn't matter I think I like that I'm going to do that I think so I'm going to measure I did actually cut some card before for the other pocket so just let me have a look and see if I can find it because I need to back the um because this is just printed out on copy paper Sure I had some left. Here it is. So we can do that as a pocket. I could probably even trim a little bit off that. Although it's about the size I normally do my pockets anyway. No, I'm going to leave that at that size. And I'm going to glue that to this because as I said it's only on copy weight paper so I want the pocket to be um, quite firm just excuse me it won't be a moment oh my goodness guys every time without fail I do a video and the phone rings the thing is I need to put my I've got a phone um, which is an old one of Jim's that I film on and I've got my phone that um, well, that I use for a phone and um, what I need to be doing is obviously putting that on airplane mode or sticking it in in another room because you can bet every time I decide I'm going to do a video someone will ring <laughs> I give up all right so I'm just going to cut this out and I'm going to be sewing around this so I'm not overly worried about the edges um, not being fully glued down. So this can be done with um, just your scraps of scrapbooking paper as well. I just saw this um, this uh, printable that I had bought quite some time ago, well, or similar to it. And I, um, I don't know whether I've just bought this one recently or whether it's an old one, but I bought a couple of hers recently. Um, and I just thought it went so well with these greeting cards. So I thought oh, I may as well use it. So, um, but if you don't have printables or you can't print print out on your computer, just use your scraps, scraps of pattern paper. We all have those, don't we? All right. So once again, I'm going to put a notch in the top of this. And I'm going to sew around it. I don't think I inked the last pocket. Doesn't matter. So I'm going to sew around this. Um, actually, I'm going to glue that. I'm going to glue that on. Yeah, I'm going to glue that on three sides. I'm not worried about sewing the top part. Where's my other glue? And then I'm going to go and sew around the whole card. Getting to put my pin in. Um, my beautiful friend Vicky made me some dangles to go in my glue because I've broken the, well, I haven't, I've bent the, um, the other one that I received from one of my subbies, I've bent the pin. So I'm just trying to find some stainless steel pins, and Vicky 
made me a couple of dangles which are really lovely so I keep forgetting to put them in my glue while I'm working and then they clog up a bit I've got to cover that as well. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do on the inside here at the moment. We could even make this a little booklet maybe. Okay, I'm going to go and sew around all of this and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've sewn all around that. Once again, I didn't think about having a closure. So, uh, as I said, think about if you're wanting to add a closure, and it's probably a good idea just so that you don't weaken the card on the edge to do it. Glue it on, and then you can catch it in your sewing as you go around. So I'm just going to leave this one without a closure now. And I'm thinking that I might just make it into a little booklet. And use... I've got... As I said, I've got all these um, different scuffs. I've got, this is just one drawer. I've got multiple drawers all over the place and that's what I'm supposed to be sorting out today. And then I've got distracted. So I'm going to just make like a little booklet and I'm just gonna use um, bits of coffee dyed paper. It doesn't matter if it's not exactly the same size. So, and I've got, when I coffee dye my paper, I have um, pieces that, you know have tears and that in them so um, I'm going to trim this down and utilize that as well I'm just gonna trim that bit off and the rest of that can be used to go on the back of tags that type of thing and I'm not sure why I've got this one in there but I might cut it to approximate size and utilize it okay let's see what else we've got so this is um, okay so that's too big now to need to cut a little bit off that. That's okay, we'll have a little fold out piece. And so fold all this in half. Um, we could probably even put one of these, although they're not, um, we could always ink up the back. Let me have a look, what have we got? this I think just trimming this white edge off so we can utilize that in there doesn't matter that it's got a white back, we're not going to worry about that now. Mm. 
What else have we got here? So I'm just using up, trying to use up some scraps and minimize the scraps I've got. Because I'm not sure whether you saw a previous video that I did. I think it was number 18 of the um, using up your 12 inch sheets. So I've started a new um, organization um, system for my 12 inch papers. So I'm sort of keen to, as I'm going through my scraps, I'm starting to put them in, in the little pockets that I made um, for the scraps. So um, I will endeavor to try and link that video down below as well. So you can see what I'm talking about. I'm trying to get myself organized. It's um that's probably gonna drive me mad that being white, but I'm gonna try and just go with it. Maybe if I add another piece that's white, it won't be so bad. What else have we got in here? These are all vertical. This one's um, going horizontally, so we might cut that one. So this has just got a tiny little bit of white on here. that as center. How many sheets have we got? Like it's just a little little notebook really. So we probably could add a few more. We really do need a closure though, don't we? I can just tie it with some seam binding. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's add three more pieces. That's one. There we go. In this one, see, I told you I've got scraps everywhere. These are ones that I've dyed and I've um, got a bit excited when I've pulled them up and they've torn off the table. So I'm just going to trim these down a bit and utilize them as pages. And the little scrappy bits I can either stamp or, you know, if they're not usable, I'll just throw them out them to the side for now. This one. Oh, what am I doing? I think I'll do that. And that'll give us 20 pages back in front. a nice little notebook to pop in your handbag. We do that. Gonna move this one here a little bit further to the front. So just uh, no rhyme or reason to them. I don't care that they're up and down. Excuse me again for a second. Oh, and there we go again, another phone call. So <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Anyway, so I've just uh, really randomly placed these. I don't care that they're all over the shop. And I'm just going to, I think I'm going to sew these in on my machine. So I just need to grab a couple of clips to keep those in place. I'm 
just going to put the paper clips and hold them, hold the signature in place there. And I'm just going to sew directly down the center. So I've sewn directly down the center. I think I can never work out, I can never get them perfectly straight, but we'll just fold it. And you can see it's a little bit off center. It's come over onto the front there a bit, but I'm not overly concerned about that. Um, the only thing that I do need to think about, and I didn't think about it, is I should have maybe sewn down here to secure this pocket, but I'm just going to add a bit of glue there because that's lifted a little bit, um, only because I wasn't worried because I was going to sew, but I didn't sew down that edge. So that's okay. So I'm just going to crease that bit um, so that's all nicely folded and I'm just going to re-ink again where you can see the stitching a little bit and then my threads and then I'm going to put a tag or something there and I've got to decorate that pocket at the back so uh, let's have a look at what we've got so let's maybe go this actually looks quite nice collection of specimens or specimen I like that with the red in it so I'm just going to use that I think that we'll bring it down a little bit a little bit of cheesecloth I always need to add my cheesecloth um, just really randomly going to cut that glue it down and I always try and cut more than what I need and um, I just tear um, pull away the excess that I don't don't need on there. Just gonna glue that. Might help if I glue it up the right way. So just want to bring it down a bit to cover that happy birthday, but bring it down so it's not sitting right on top of the, the butterflies there. Just going to tip this over and decorate. I think I might use one of those circles again. I quite like the way that that looked. If I can find them. Oh goodness, what a mess. Um, maybe we'll just put something like this on because I've got that butterfly. Same thing, I think I'm going to put just put this down with um, some cheesecloth and then another label. So we might do it to the left side this time. Um. So I've gone way overboard there with the, the cheesecloth. I've got way more than what I need. That's okay. We'll glue that down. <laughs> Look at that. Do you think I might have um, overestimated there? So adding quite a bit of glue onto the back of this because it's got to go through the cheesecloth. And I'm going to add a little, another little label of some sort. I think that looks, looks 
quite nice. And I'm just going to stick that down as well. These are so much fun. So hopefully you might look at, um, and I know a lot of the cheap shops, you can get some really beautiful images on the front of cards. So you can always alter them. They don't have to be, um, you know, left as they are. I'm just cutting off that little bit of excess there. And I'm gonna flip this and try and see if I can shred some of this. So that's all I do is I just pull away the excess. I would normally wait until it's a bit drier, but um, the glue underneath. And then if you've got too much sort of hanging around, I just sort of trim it off a bit like that. So that's the front, it's so cute. That's the front and then that's the back and I'm going to probably do exactly what I've said not to do. I've said wait for the glue to dry, but that's okay. We'll just want to pull away this excess here so you can get a better look at it. manipulate the cheesecloth to do what what you want it to do and then once again you can pop the tags make some tags and get some pieces to go in there in the back and then I'm just going to wrap that with some um, seam binding so think about the pockets. I probably should have sewn them looking at this now, um, but I will just go and glue. So the glue will hold it down. Um, I probably should have sewn across there just to make sure that, um, or print this onto cardstock so you don't have to worry about backing it. And then you can alleviate that problem of your paper lifting. Um, so once I've gone and glued that down properly, that will be fine. Um, so that is really, really cute. I'm just gonna grab another color of um, seam binding. Oh, it's probably a little bit too green. I've got this one here. You might go with that one. So I'm just roughly measuring that and I'm going to just tie it off in a bow just to tie it closed. when you've got tags and that you you can either tie it off first and then put your tags in or that will just keep your tags in place as well I may even go back and do a similar um, closure to that so this one looked like um, actually had started altering that one let me just see if I can find I'm just going to knock everything else off my desk here in a minute. Okay, so I'll do a comparison again, okay? Um, so I'll just leave it at the two today. You get the idea. Keep an eye out for some cheap little cards, um, and then you can alter them. So this is what it originally looked like. Okay, so I've covered the back, made a pocket. I won't necessarily put those tags in there, but I'll make some tags to go in there. And just decorated with some labels um, and then made a closure and then in the inside I've tea dyed as, I, as you saw at the um, beginning of the video and they were stark white on the inside and then I've just made some little pockets to put some handmade ephemera in there so that's that little one I think it's my favorite um, out of today's effort going to tie that off so that's that and then this is what this one looked like to start with 
So I've just tied off with some seam binding there. Made the back, um, covered it and made a little pocket, which is really nice. And then this is the inside again. So it was, once again, stark white. I've just tea dyed it, sewn around it and just made a little notebook. Um, just stick in your, your bag for shopping lifts or something, whatever you like. So I think they are really, really cute. I mean, the cards are beautiful to start with anyway, uh, but I really wanted to um, have a go at altering some of those. I'm gonna go and have a bit of a play and there was only one of these. So I'm going to have a bit of a play and and finish this one off as well since I've tea dyed that. And um, maybe even do the others. I'll see how I go. I really do need to get to this room and start cleaning it up. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that today. Um, it just, you know, there's so much. You see things differently now that we do junk journaling and you can utilize all those different cards and bits and pieces in your journals or even as happy mail. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you're all doing really well. So until next time, I hope you get a little bit of crafting time in. See you soon. Bye-bye.